Hi friends, welcome to this week's episode of Creation to Creator. Glad to be back again through this media. Thank you all so much for joining. We are praying that God will make today's program a blessing for you. So we're going to focus today's meditation on the life of Zacchaeus and we will try to learn some lessons together from his life. So one lesson that I want to say on the onset is to encourage everyone, including myself, is to be true self when we come before the presence of God. In the present world, there are a lot of self-righteousness everywhere. People want to show themselves as good and perfect. It may work before men, but never works before God. The biggest impact of self-righteousness is churches that are filled with pretending people. Come on, let's get out of that mode. Let's be honest before God. Do you know that the only righteousness that we can claim is the righteousness of Jesus? No one else is worthy to be called righteous or holy except God. Don't take it for my word. Romans chapter 3 verse 10 through 12 says, None is righteous. No, not, not one. No one understands. No one seeks for God. All have turned aside. Together they have become worthless. No one does good. Not even one. So if we are willing to admit that we have problem, Jesus is more than willing and be happy to get it fixed. The more we claim on our self-righteousness, the stronger will be the hold of Satan in our lives. Story of Zacchaeus gives us some wonderful lessons about not being self-righteous before Jesus. So we will talk about it more after our first song. Raja, one need a day 
ഇഴകളിൽ സഭയിൽ So today it is a story of Zacchaeus that Reena and I are going to talk about. It is a story of a sinner who was willing to admit himself before Jesus, which changed his life forever. So this story is written in the Gospel of Luke chapter 19. So Jesus was on his way to Jericho and the streets were crowded with lots of people. Zacchaeus, the tax collector, just wanted to see this Jesus that people were talking about. It seems obvious that the curiosity was the prime motive in the mind of Zacchaeus. The name Zacchaeus means pure or innocent, but he certainly didn't resemble his name before he met Jesus. Zacchaeus was not just a tax collector, but one who was in charge of other tax collectors as well. His wealth came at the expense of many others. So God used the simple curiosity as a means for reaching out to Zacchaeus with the message of salvation. God often uses insignificant things to accomplish his purpose. So as the story continues, Zacchaeus wants to see Jesus and since he was not tall, he was unable to see over the heads of the people. So because Zacchaeus saw Jesus so intensely, he didn't mind doing something that many thought was beneath the dignity of a grown wealthy man. He climbed up on a sycamore tree. The sycamore has low horizontal branches, so it is relatively easy to climb uh, on that tree. So when Jesus came by, he looked up onto the tree and said, Zacchaeus, come down immediately for today I must stay at your house. What a surprise. This is the only case in the gospel where Jesus offered himself uninvited to be a man's guest. Jesus called out to the man on the tree, Zacchaeus, and he did not say, Will it be convenient for you, for me to just come and visit you? Instead, he said, hurry down, for today I must stay at your home. Also, Jesus did not say, Zacchaeus, you are a sinner. You have been ripping people off. You need to change. Instead, Jesus spoke to this chief tax collector with words of frankness, but surely with kindness. What a great lesson. 
Is this how we treat people that are considered sinners in society or even our fellow brothers and sisters who might have fallen into the trap of devil? And the story says that Zacchaeus made haste and came down and received Jesus joyfully. Because Zacchaeus worked hard and risked his social status to see Jesus, Jesus did not pass him by. Listen, no matter how much you have messed up in life, Jesus' interest is not to condemn you, but to save your love, life with his love. Even though Jesus could have easily spoke against what Zacchaeus was doing, he responded in a very unexpected way. I am going to stay with you tonight. Did Jesus know that Zacchaeus was a sinner? Did Jesus know Zacchaeus had a lot of enemies? Of course he did. Still, Jesus decided to go to his house to save his life. Jesus don't care about what others might think about you. He liked to be with those who are eager for him. Zacchaeus quickly descended from the tree. Zacchaeus came down with joy. He was absolutely thrilled that Jesus was coming to his house. Sometimes that evening, Zacchaeus was changed into a new person. There was a dramatic change in his life. His grip on material things was loosened and he was ready to give away much of his fortune. Instead of the passion to get, he now had the passion to give. The presence and the words of Jesus changed Zacchaeus forever. All of us must remember that God's salvation is offered to all people, not just to those who may be considered the religious elite. That is the good news. Are you struggling with sin today? Jesus wants to meet with you. He came to the earth not to save those who claim to be righteous, but to help those who are willing to admit their sins. What a great hope for you and me. If you respond to Jesus today, just like Zacchaeus, your life also will be transformed and filled with joy. We will continue the story of Zacchaeus right after our next song. Devati Devane Raja Tiraja Ve Varthi Varnangi Dumne Sneham Yenil Sandadam Tanidum Deva Sneham Alpuda Nithya Sneham Yenil Sandadam Tanidum Deva Sneham Yenum Maratha Divya Sneham Yenil Vasikim Sneham Innum maratha divya sneham Ennil vasikyum sneham Stotrangel padi nyan vaarthi idume Devati devane rajati rajave Vaarthi vanangi idume Devati devane rajati rajave Varthi Varnangi Dumne Maya Logatin Moham 
തേടി ശാപമേറ്റ എന്നെ വീണ്ട സ്നേഹം മായലോകത്തിൻ മോഹം തേടി ശാപമേറ്റ എന്നെ വീണ്ട സ്നേഹം എന്നെ നേടിയ ദിവ്യ സ്നേഹം എന്നിൽ പേരുകും സ്നേഹം എന്നെ നേടിയ ദിവ്യ സ്നേഹം എന്നിൽ പേരുകും സ്നേഹം സ്തോത്രങ്ങൾ പാടി ഞാൻ വാഴ്ത്തിയിടുമേ ദേവാധി ദേവനെ രാജാധി രാജാവെ വാഴ്ത്തി വാണങ്ങിയിടുന്നേ ദേവാധി ദേവനെ രാജാധി രാജാവെ വാഴ്ത്തി വാണങ്ങിയിടുന്നേ സ്നേഹം സർവലോകത്തിൻ ശാപത്തെ നീക്കും സ്നേഹം ജീവനേകീയ സ്നേഹം സർവലോകത്തിൻ ശാപത്തെ നീക്കും സ്നേഹം ഉന്നതമാ ക്രൂശിൻ സ്നേഹം ഉള്ളം കവരും സ്നേഹം ഉന്നതമാ ക്രൂശിൻ സ്നേഹം ഉള്ളം കവരും സ്നേഹം സ്തോത്രങ്ങൾ പാടി ഞാൻ വാഴ്ത്തിയിടുമേ ദേവാധി ദേവനെ രാജാധി രാജാവെ വാഴ്ത്തി വാണങ്ങിയിടുന്നേ ദേവാധി ദേവനെ രാജാധി രാജാവെ വാഴ്ത്തി വാണങ്ങിയിടുന്നേ ഹൈ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ലെറ്റ്സ് കണ്ടിന്യൂ വിത്ത് ദ സ്റ്റോറി ഓഫ് സാക്കിയസ് ഓൾദോ വി ഡോ നോ വാട്ട് ജീസസ് സെറ്റ് ടു സാക്കിയസ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദി റീച്ച് ദിസ് ഹോം ബട്ട് വി ഡു സി ദ റിസൾട്ട് ഓഫ് ദിയർ ഇൻട്രാക്ഷൻ സാക്കിയസ് വാസ് ചേഞ്ച് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ഹിസ് എൻകൗണ്ടർ വിത്ത് ദ സൺ ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഡേ he was so deeply convicted that he rose to his feet and said here and now i am giving half of my possessions to the poor he also promised to return whatever he had taken falsely from others and he would give back four times the of the amount he had wrongly taken in these words we see a generous spirit and a genuine desire to make things right of his past wrongs Both attitudes reflect a change of heart in the life of Zacchaeus. These actions were a spontaneous response from a heart made clean by the spirit of God. Jesus responded with the good news. He said, "This day salvation has come to this house." Zacchaeus became a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ that day. He repented of his sins and made restitution for his wrong doing. A great spiritual miracle had taken place. in the heart of Zacchaeus from this we can learn that Jesus will proclaim the same words to any human being anywhere on the earth when there is a genuine faith and repentance can a life change this quickly yes not every habit in the life of Zacchaeus changed but his heart changed and there was some evidence of it immediately listen dear ones no one is too bad to be saved or beyond the power of God's grace to reach be open with God tell him exactly what you are struggling with God loves you we see here a picture of Christ's compassion towards sinners and his power to change human hearts you and i are no different god can change your life into something beautiful if you will let him people who are genuinely converted will show outward evidence of their inward conversion Converted sinners will always live a life completely different from their former lives. Here are the words of Zacchaeus, the half of my goods I give it to the poor. This is an unmistakable proof that Zacchaeus was a new person now. 
let's not put off our decisions to respond to god's call such an attitude is very dangerous because we do not know when we may have our last chance to hear the gospel and receive christ as our savior here jesus restored zacchaeus's identity as the son of abraham this story encapsulates jesus's mission to seek and to save the lost restoring them to right relationship with god and god's people that mission continues even today through us to those who are still struggling with sin so let's not condemn them instead love them and pray for them jesus can change their lives forever let's do the last song for today and then we will pray before we end the program so stay tuned மகிமாப்பதிமிஹா மேகவாகனமதின்மே ஜெயப்பிரபாவத்தோடாகோ ஸ்வர்கலோகத்தினெழுந்தா வெகுதூத சைன்யங்கள் ஜெயகீதம் பாடும் மகிமாப்பதி மசிகா மேகவாகனமதின்மே ஜெயப்பிரபாவத்தோடாகோ ஸ்வர்கலோகத்தினெழுந்தா மகசூரன போதலங்கள் மேகவாகனம் கடந்து வெகு நிரதூத கணங்கள் புண்ணிய பாதம் கும்பிடுந்து மகத்வத்தின் ராஜனு துறந்து ஸ்வர்துவாரங்கள் மகிமாப்பதி மசிகா மேகவாகனமதின்மே ஜெயப்பிரபாவத்தோடாகோ ஸ்வர்கலோகத்தினெழுந்தா சங்கம் மோடியேறும் விண்பதியே அதி கோஷ சேவ செய்து கீர்த்தி சார்த்து பாடி நின்னு பரமண்டலங்களில் பல ராகம் கேள்குன்னு மகிமாப்பதி மசிகா மேகவாகனமதின்மே ஜெயப்பிரபாவத்தோடாகோ ஸ்வர்கலோகத்தினெழுந்தா வெகுதூத சைன்யங்கள் ஜெயகீதம் பாடும் மகிமாப்பதி மசிகா மேகவாகனமதின்மே ஜெயப்பிரபாவத்தோடாவோ ஸ்வர்கலோகத்தினெழுந்தா
right, friends, let's take a moment, uh, close our eyes, and offer a word of prayer before we close this program. Father God, thank you so much for giving us this wonderful time. Thank you for the beautiful lesson that you taught us today through the life of Zacchaeus. We are overwhelmed with your love and your, your, your mercy upon our lives. And thank you for teaching us to be honest before you, O oh God. When you look into our lives, there is nothing that is hidden from you. Everything is open and plain before you, O oh God. You can see everything that, is, that we think, that we do, that we speak and act. There is nothing that is hidden before you, O oh God. And we want to just thank you for it. Because that gives us the comfort that there is one person in this whole universe that knows us exactly how we are. And we don't want to pretend before you. We just want to be as honest as possible, knowing that you are a God who loves us and you are a God who is more than willing to help us. That is why you came to the earth. That is why you died on the cross of Calvary. Just so that sinners like me and everyone else can find that hope in you, O oh God. And thank you for encouraging us with that word. Help us to be completely honest. Help us never pretend. Help, help us not to become Pharisees before you, O God, but just come before your presence completely as we are and find that love that you showers towards us, O Father. And I pray that all of my friends also will have that courage that they, when they come to your presence, they will open up and they will seek help from you in the areas that needs help, O God. And I just want to pray for everyone. I just want to pray that any area that they are struggling, Lord, you please help them. Help them to understand that you are a God who is willing to help. You are a God who is full of love. You are not a God who just goes and condemns them, but just embraces them as they are and just gives your love and transforms their life. I pray that you will transform every person's life just now as we pray together, God. And I want to bless them as individuals and families in every area of their life, O oh God. Let their life be blessed in your name, in Jesus' name. And every area that the Satan is trying to, trying, trying to take hold of, Lord, I pray that you will loosen those areas. You will break those chains and make them free in your name, O oh God. Thank you for giving us this wonderful time. This week that is ahead of us, we pray that you will, give, you will make it a great blessing in every one of our lives. Every person that we meet, let us give that joy that we have through you into their lives, O oh God. This world is dark all around us. Help us to be that light that shines your light around us, O oh Father Lord. Thank you again for this wonderful time that you gave us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's give our life as is to Jesus. If there is one person that can fully be open and honest, that is Jesus. We may have friends with whom we are totally open. Still, there is a limit to how much they can help. They can, of course, comfort us, pray and be with us. But if we admit something to Jesus, he not only listens, but also delivers us from our troubles. So let's trust God with all of our heart. That is it for today. See you all again next Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Stay blessed.